Hello everyone and welcome to Star by Mike Fashion YouTube page. So today we are going to learn how to cut the uh, vintage style shirts. Before we get into it, please subscribe to this channel. I need you to subscribe to this channel. It costs you nothing to subscribe. So we'll get into it right now. Now this is the fabric we're using. This is the fabric we're using for this. First of all, you're going to fold it into two. Fold it into two like this, as seen in the video. Hope you can see this. They are folded it. So this is how to cut the vintage shirts. Now you are going to measure two inches. Two inches along the length of the shirt. That two inches is the folding allowance for the button and the button hole. So it's like an extra two inches to the front. Now this is the total length of the shirt, which is 27 inches. So we'll add one inch to it to the total length to make it 28 inches. Total length of the shirt as seen. So you can see where I marked my chalk. Now we're going to the shoulder. We're going to slant the shoulder by three inches. Three inches. Slant your shirt shoulder by three inches. This will ensure best fit. So this is the chest measurement. You can see 10 at the chest measurement. That will be 40. Because we've divided the measurement by 4. So 10 is 40. The chest size is 40. You see that extra inches I added there. For the sewing allowance. So after that, we're going to divide. We divided the... After cutting the shirt, we divided it into two. Yes, we divided the material into two. At the front side. Now this is that two inches that we, that extra two inches that we added. This is the extra two inches that we added to our main, our main um measurement. So we're going to fold that because that will be the basis for attachment of the buttons and also the button hole. So this is how you fold it. This is how you fold it. Now you can see up at this point I had already folded it use the iron make sure your work is clean and neat use the iron fold it like so as seen in the video so you have to be aware of um, the parts that will carry the buttons and the other parts that will carry the button hole the one that is carrying the buttons will be smaller in size than the one that is carrying the button hole Normally, the one that carries the button is on the left. Sorry, it's on the right. Then the one that is carrying the button holes is on the left. That's for someone who is right-handed. So as seen here, you can see that the one on the left is bigger than the one on the right. Yeah. So that's the folding. And then next, we are going to place place the we're going to place the front piece. On the back piece place the front piece on the back piece now you look at that distance the distance you're going to add extra four inches four inches extra four inches to the back piece that's extra four inches to the back piece of the shirt material yeah you also always mark your chalk so that you will not uh, get confused add four inches to the shoulder parts so you cut that out, cut it out like this. You see the extra four inches at the top part. This is, you just placed the front part on the back pieces and then you cut it out. You added four extra four inches to the back. Now that's the extra four inches I'm folding now. You can see that. You fold that extra four inches, use the iron to press it down to ensure a clean job so they can have a clean cut 
after ironing that you can see how smooth it is lying down at this point you are going to measure the neck measure the neck the neck is normally three inches three inches from the top by how many two inches three by two as you can see here three inches by two inches so you strike a line there and then you curve it use your scissors to cut it out at this point please ensure to cut only the front piece of your clothes as seen here lift it up like this don't cut everything at once cut only the front piece and then you take it all the way to the back as seen like this because if you go and cut something wrong here you are your own okay now this is where you measure the shoulder this is the shoulder of the shirt the shoulder of this measurement is 18 inches but you can see that we've measured 19 that is extra one inch 18 and then we measured 19 that is an extra one inch for the sewing allowance that's for the shoulder so you're going to mark your chalk at the 19 inches 19 inches mark your chalk there because you're going to cut it so to get your armhole that same 18 inches that is for the shoulder you're going to cut mark it down mark it down that is the 18 there 9 is 18 9 times 2 is 18 so that is 9 inches mark it there and then you slant your armhole slant your armhole you can see that is the extra half inch I added there. Slant your own hole as seen. If you are so, once you've done this, you've cut out your neck, you have your armhole, you've trimmed your shoulder. Now, this is how I get my armhole for the sleeve, the sleeve of the shirt. This is how I get my armhole for the sleeve of the shirt. I place the front and the back piece as seen and then I'll take my tape and measure out the length of the armhole as I've seen me doing it here and this one will result to 11 and quarter the size of the armhole is 11 and quarter and so this is what exactly what I'm going to apply when I'm cutting out the armhole for the sleeve of the shirt now as seen so now to get the sleeve you're going to measure four inches four inches into the fabric and mark it you can see that i marked it with the yellow chalk mark it and then you create your armhole curve as seen create your armhole curve as seen now this is the length of the of the sleeve which is nine inches you are going to add extra three inches to make it 12 inches one two three three inches to make it 12 because we're going to be folding that back so now this is the result of that sleeve that we've cut you can see the slanting of the armhole if you use this pattern you measure your armhole before you apply it on the sleeve you're never ever going to run short of a sleeve like there are other times you can cut a sleeve and you discover that it didn't go all the way around the bodice of your clothes but once you measure it you're going to make sure that everything fits well so you just take out that uh, the first sleeve place it on the fabric and cut out the second sleeve as you can see me doing here so that's as easy as that Cut it out and see. You cut it out as seen. So after that, this is what, what I like to do. You just arrange your fabric on the table. Arrange the back piece and arrange the front piece. As you can see me doing it here. I've arranged this thing. I see this shirt is already sewn, but I have not finished sewing it. I just placed it equally like this so that you'll be able to see the parts that uh, are overlapping 
such that you can trim them easily and get the perfect size of shirt before you go to the, the machine to join it now after trimming the neck and the bodies the ones that overlap that passed out this is what you have for the shirt for the shirt this is what you have i've trimmed everything now look at the armhole you can see that the back piece is bigger than the front piece it is deliberate it's not an error